In the name of God, I want to talk about sibilance. Sibilance are not so difficult for you to understand. Sibilance are those sounds that are similar to s, z, etc. The sounds that are similar to s and z are called sibilance. Look at here. It's on page 210. It's on page 200, and, well, 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 excuse me, it's on page, uh, yes, uh, yes, 204. Okay, these three lines, as easy as that. Uh, sibilance, like s, z, sh, z, t, and j. Okay, these six Sounds are called sibilance. Uh, they are si similar. They are similar. Look, I'm going to repeat. S, it could be found in Arabic. Z, it could be found in Arabic. Sh, could be found in Arabic as well. J, could be found in, as I told you, in Lebanese. T, in Iraqi and Farsi. Okay. And J, in Arabic. Okay. Well, of course, uh, Farsi has got all, all these sounds, sounds uh, yes, change, yes, and change. All these sounds are in, could be found in Farsi and uh, in English. Anyway, well, they are si I told you that they are similar. Well, look at here. What does it say? What does the book say? This class of consonantal sounds, this group of consonants is characterized by the acoustic rather than articulatory phonetics of the members. Uh, what does it mean? They are similar in the field of in Majal physi physics. In the Majal physics. Okay? In the field of physics. Uh, well, the physics of Aswat. Uh, okay? Well, they say these sounds are, uh, the, they, uh, are the result of big friction created by civil and uh, which produce is something like s okay they are high frequency sounds and actually uh, are like this uh, hissing sounds uh, which means high frequency sounds all other sounds are less frequency they have got less fre frequency in physics uh, okay frequency in physics uh, so remember, remember, it's a mixture of high frequency. Yes, it's a uh, as you see, it's written. It is written. It's a mixture of high frequency sounds. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a short uh, uh, discussion, and I am just going to finish it now, or maybe I'm gonna continue with the syllabic because it's so short. I go to talk about uh, syllabic sounds. Uh, okay. So I begin my second part of the syllabic sounds here because uh, I think it's easy for you to it's easier for you to download. Uh, okay. Anyway, what are syllabic sounds? Syllabic sounds are like this that we have uh, vowels actually make syllables, uh, not vowels. So if you say the word heart, heart. It's the R in the middle of the word heart which makes the syllable. If I say bad, it's A in the middle which makes this syllable. If I say door, again, this is the R sound inside uh, where we can have the syllable. So without these vowels, we cannot have, we cannot have syllables. So door without uh, O, is nothing nothing we cannot say d -r, d -r without or we cannot say bad without a okay so these are the syllable makers but sometimes especially in your good english in some of you maybe you can understand that in american english we have some consonants that are like well like syllables if you actually go, go, go to line four, okay, the new paragraph on syllabic sounds, uh, it says that liquids and nasals may also be syllabic, as shown by the words dazzle. 
How do they say the word dazzle? We say da dazzle dazzle okay how do we say we say dazzle dazzle good english american english we say how do we say we say dazzle dazzle what is the first syllable the first syllable is a daz what is the second syllable the second syllable is oh really a consonant yes L can sometimes in American English can act like a vowel which makes a syllable so the word dazzle is not uh, pronounced like dazzle it is pronounced like da z o without o without a okay without schwa okay it is dazzle on the next line we have the word faker faker what is it? If I say faker, I have added a schwa here, faker. Without this schwa, again, it is possible. How? I say fake. Syllable one. Rrr, syllable two. Faker. Faker. Okay? What does it mean? The second syllable, the second syllable is R. So LE and RE can be syllabic. In the dazzle, LE is syllabic. In faker, R is syllabic. The same holds true for rhythm. If I say rhythm with one Rith is syllable one and um syllable two. No, no, I can say without a, uh, okay? And say rith, m, rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Where in American English? In very good American English and sometimes in British English we have something like this. What? Syllabic sounds. Uh, m can be syllabic as well. In American English, not in Farsi, not in Iraqi, not in Arabic. Fosha mean, no, not in Fosha, not in Iraqi. Okay, so it is like this. How do we say this one? Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm without a. I don't say rhythm. I say rhythm, rhythm, them, them, like this. And the last one. N again can be like this. So instead of saying wagon, I can say American English could easily say wag, syllable one, n, syllable two, wagon, wagon. Okay? If you want to talk good English, good English, remember you have to have good syllabic sounds. I am repeating the syllabic sounds. Le, re, me, ne, in these four words. And of course, there are other words as well. Look, the first one, line, th line three, line four, is dazzle, dazzle, dazzle. Line, the next line, it is faker, faker, faker. The next one is rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. And the last one is wagon, wagon, wagon. Okay, of course, we can find other examples here. So sometimes we say, oh, where did it go? Okay, okay, I can find it. I can find it just now. Well, it's here, okay, now. Other words written here is like bird, here. Look at here. Okay. It is badly written because so big. It is bird, bird, b, r, d. Okay? But the last line, the next line, it is written it without the syllabic sound. Syllabic. So if we say bird, bird. Okay? We can say like a syllabic one. So like what? Bird, 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 bird. And the word verb, verb. Again the same. 
But if you say verb with a schwa, it is not syllabic. Thank you very much. I suppose this one is going to be long. Bye.